We are revealing how to make money online with eBay this year. I'm talking about how you can make anywhere from 100 to $300 a day, and we're starting right now, intro. Good morning, my beautiful people. Mike Vasiro, welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I'll remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where we are going over the fastest and easiest way to make money online. I'm talking about like grandmas going from zero to 100 grand in like as crazy as 90 days. Check it out in the first link below today. With that being said, let's talk about how to make money on eBay without actually having any of your products, without actually having to do much of the fulfilling and without having to do really much of the work other than this interesting little hack that I found out back in 2012 when I first got started. Now, if you notice, you could see that I have eBay, I have Rakuten, I have Overstock, I have Walmart, and I have Chase, Credit Card, Sapphire, Preferred. These are kind of like all the things that are needed to make this really, really crazy, and as well as give you free travel rewards points. You could even fly business class for free and get hotels for free like what I did when I first got started with this method. Now, if you could see, the biggest goal isn't really selling on eBay, but finding products to sell on eBay that you could just ship online. So for example, here's a quick example for this tutorial. Notice how this is $214. And not only that, but they're also charging $8 for US PS priority shipping mail. So this is essentially about $222. Now, the craziest thing is this exact same product with the exact same picture is actually found on Walmart for $149. And I'm pretty sure shipping and handling as well as free. So if you really think about this, minus like the eBay fees, that's about a $70 difference, okay? So of course, eBay is gonna take their fees, but other than that, you could make a considerable good amount of profit just like that. And notice this, it's so interesting. This is the exact same picture here. This is the exact same picture here. Let's actually look at the description. This patent three-in-one TV stand offers versatility and patent design. Hmm, I wonder what this description is gonna say. This paid in three and one TV stand over his versatility and patent design. So weird. They're the exact same thing, except how come here it's $149 and here it's $214 plus $8 shipping and handling about $220. That's about a $70 difference. You could profit anywhere from like three, 30 to 50 bucks just from this alone. But wait, there is more. You could actually make even more money on the back end. Meaning if you sign up for a company like Rakuten, which is like a cashback site where they essentially give you free money when you're making a purchase, what you could essentially do is go through this entire thing. So say you post this exact same thing, right? You, you take this image and you put it on eBay and then you go ahead and list it, right? And let's say you go ahead and make a sale because every single day people are typing in TV, flat screen, stand, panel, right? Everyone, like so many people are, like millions of people are going to eBay and searching for this every single day. They see this, they're like, oh my God, $214. They give you money. What do you think you actually do with that money? You take the $214, you go to Rakuten, or in this case, uh, yeah, Rakuten, and you get up to 6% cash back. Meaning when you click on this, what happens is now no matter what you buy, on walmart.com, assuming that it is part of the category that they're promoting, you will get up to 6% cash back. Meaning if you spend 150 bucks on this, you would essentially be getting $7 extra for free, right? So do you understand how that's really beautiful? And on top of that, you could even sweeten the deal by putting a Chase Sapphire preferred credit card or just any credit card in general where you could even get up to 2% cash back. So if you really think about it, that's an extra... I had to do some math. That's an extra $3. So just like that, if you take this money, when you make a sale from this customer, you take this $214, you're like, okay, awesome. Now I just got to go and find this product cheaper elsewhere. You know, you go to Rakuten and then you pull up Walmart, you get anything from up to 6% cash back. When you buy this from Walmart, not only are you spending $149 of the customer's $214, but you get an extra $7 from Rakuten and you get another $2-ish in either travel rewards points or just cash back with your credit card. So that's like an extra free $9, always adding profit to your bottom line. 
Now, here's the thing. This is what a lot of people have been doing for the longest of time. Like, I remember I got started with this back in 2012, and it was insane, right? Because, you know, no one was really doing it. And the reason why we got good at all of these travel rewards hacking and where to actually get the cash back is because things get competitive. And that's exactly what you need to start thinking like this year because the entire name of the game is is changing and things in competition will always come in. But this is a way that you could kind of overcome the competition as well as continue to make money this year. So let's actually go over an example of how you could do this. And like I said, you don't even have to just use Walmart. You could even use things like Overstock as well. Like if you see Overstock, there is a bunch of products and it's in IDR, not US dollars because I'm in Bali right now. And it just switched to Indonesian rupiah instead of US dollars just because of the fact that this is where I'm located. But on your screen, especially if you're in the US, this should say in US dollar. You could do the exact same thing, especially because you get cash back on that. So this is free money here. This is free money here. And you could also travel for free, travel for business class, get free hotels. You never have to worry about paying for hotels and, and airplanes ever again. Like that alone should be worth its weight in gold for this video, which should inspire you to at least stretch that finger and hit that like and subscribe button. Let's over an example so of how you could actually do this. So now let's actually use the example of uh, Overstock because like I said, you could get 2% cash back, which is every $100 you spend of money that is not yours, you could actually get $2. So it gets really amazing when it starts moving up to, you know, $300, $400, $500 products. Like this is an IDR. So you guys get a little bit of a knowledge. 2 million Indonesian rupees, about 141 US dollars. That is this product right here. All I would do is I would just come in here, save image as, but this is the trick, right? I would save this image as the keyword in which people are actually searching for. So if we come over here and we see that this is an accent table, if I just go over to eBay and type in accent table, what I want to do is I want to see all of these words that people are searching on the side. So we have end tables, nightstands, um, end tables, coffee tables. Let's just go for uh, accent table round or just end table in general. So I'll just pull this up and table. The reason why you want to save it with that name is because eBay will associate that with one of these keywords that people are actually searching for. And all of these things, this is what people are actually searching for. And all of these, I bet you, because I know what these images look like, these are all sold from different products. Like this is probably from Wayfair.com. This could be from Overstock.com. Some of these are from Amazon.com. Like a lot of products that sell on eBay don't actually come from eBay anymore. It's actually kind of funny. So the moment you create a free account with eBay, all you gotta do is click on sell in the corner. Go to browse categories, click on home and guarding, go in furniture, go nightstand. And now we're creating a draft. Now here's what you're going to do. That's completely different than everything and everyone else. You know, notice how this person right here is literally putting the exact same thing that they found on Walmart, right? So it's very interesting because it's pretty much obvious that it, it's some other brand. So someone could easily search this. Now, what I did in the past is you don't use that. You literally use the thing. So if I just come in here and just type in end table, you see all the things that show up. So what I always did when I was younger is I would just type in coffee table night stand with drawer, 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 drawer. And I would just literally put as much keywords in here. So I would just type in again, stand for TV, stand for TV, stand for TV up to 65 inch with panels. So just like that, you know, I have a fully blown title that can really be easily found and you don't have to worry about the competition because a lot of people are typing this all the time, right? But what you can do now is rank on search for people that are actually looking for this. Now your competition are things that are completely different and oh look, you found something else just like that, right? But because of that, you don't have to worry about competing on the title because you could do a different thing. Another thing you could actually do is get someone on Photoshop to kind of change this up a bit so that it looks like a completely different product or you can even use a different picture so it looks like a different product, right? And then what you want to do, of course, is add the photo here. But remember, you want to add the photo where you have the name saved. And then what you do is you price it accordingly, but make sure it's always more expensive than what you could actually buy from on Walmart or on Overstock. And then after that point, when you create the listing and it's completely sold, remember, all you do is you take the money, you then go to Rakuten. You literally search for the place that you're getting it. 
And then you have to click through this link to get the free money, okay? So you literally pr press this, you get 2% cash back in this case, if we were supposed to get it from Overstock. And then now whenever you go to the website and you buy anything from this, uh, you will get 2% cash back. But the last thing is when you do purchase it with the customer's money, before you actually buy it, make sure you put it on a credit card because you get more free money from the Travel Awards points. And then you're probably wondering, well, Mike, who's gonna pay the credit card bill? Well, the customer gave you $214. So all you're really doing is just kind of like funneling the cash through certain different processes because each time it goes through a process in a system, it gets 2% there, it gets $7 there, and it's just more free money profit into your bank account for things that you're already doing. Now, to put the extent of things at how big this could get, I remember I got this to the point where it was like 80,000 revenue when I was like an 18 year old kid. And man, I had so much free travel awards points. Like I lived in Vegas for 30 days. I lived in like hotels for 30 days. I traveled all around the world. I flew business class to places for free from Bali to Vegas. I stayed in Miami for free. I stayed in Vegas for free. I stayed in California for free, for New York for free, in Europe for free, and places in Thailand and Bali for free because of this little hack that not only did I have like millions of travel awards points after doing this for a really long time, but on top of that, it was a very good business to get started with when I was just getting started. But if you wanna get started with the faster and easier way to make money, make sure to sign up for this week's free workshop today where we are gonna go over an even faster method to make money online. So check that out below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. And with that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later.